Hey guys, it's Happy Blue Yoshi, and this past couple of days has been E3. I personally didn't go, but I looked on the internet, because the internet. So, I want to talk about my top five favorite games that, that were announced at E3, okay? First of all, number five, Battlefield Hardline. That game looked really cool. I actually played a bit of the beta. You might possibly be able to see a little, little beta, a little bit of that beta right about now. Basically, it's pretty much, they took Grand Theft Auto 5, Battlefield 4, and Payday 2, highest, and Payday 2, and combine it together, and bam, you got Battlefield Hardline. So yeah, it's really cool, a little bit, it's like, just lots of, lots of fun. And yeah, basically the only reason why I like it so much, it, well, I'm really looking forward to it, is because it's refreshing to all the other battlefields, like more refreshing feel. I mean, though the basic core, like basic game modes and all that, it's still a little refreshing because like, it's like a new coat of paint, but it's done pretty good way. And that's a really solid looking story mode. If you've seen some of the trailers and all that for it, you can see you're playing as some like cop dude. And I think maybe like some sort of drug war or something, something like that. I don't know, it looks really, really cool. It's supposed to play like a cop drama. So yeah, that's why I'm looking forward to Battlefield Hardline. All right, next up, number four. It's a new Super Smash Bros. game. Yeah, basically, we all know Super Smash Bros. Take Mario guys, throw them all together in like a fighting arena sort of thing, and just battle it out till one one poops too hard that they die. That's basically, yeah. Basically, like, reason why I'm so excited for this because it's flipping Smash Bros. It's just, like nothing better than the Smash Bros. And like, if some of y'all have seen some of the stuff that they've done for it, just like, um, some like they upgraded all the like the core players. They upgraded their moveset set to make them even better. Like when they noticed it with Kirby and some that ultra powerful thing where like he threw everyone to his pot and like killed them up with a little stew and like shot shot him out. That's the thing. Most enemies are like an insta kill. But now he replaced it with the Ultra Sword, which I think is a really nice resolution. Alright, moving on, my third third favorite game that was announced at E3 was Yoshi's Woolly World because you know it's, it's Yoshi and like um like the graphics the graphic things look almost realistic like I want to have that in my mouth you know what so yeah that game looks it looks amazing all right second one Star Wars Battlefront holy crap this game is incredible game the graphics amazing want to put that in my mouth and Basically, something that what they really missions they just showed like them early early graphics. So stuff we hope they do is have combined land and space battle. Think about how cool it'd be up in space, you know, shooting at the the spaceships and all that, and then you get shot down and you land on the planet. You get out and start flying on land. Imagine how cool that would that would like blow my little potato mind a million times over. So yeah, and then the first and then the, and then my last one number one. Game I'm most excited for, the Legend, the next Legend of Zelda game. Holy crap, this this thing looks super sexy. Just one that all over my face, just all in my mouth, and on my belly. It's like in my belly, on top of my belly, like in my belly. So yeah, and also like pretty much for the doing this new Zelda, taking Skyrim and Zelda, mashing them together, putting them in a little blender, Zelda. Skyrim, spinning it together, and bam, you got the new Legend of Zelda. Like, I'm like, I'll probably buy a Wii U just to play, just just to play that game. But yeah, that was my top five favorite game announcements for E3 2014. Why don't you guys tell me down in the description comments, whatever it's called, tell me what y'all were most excited for E3. That's about it. That's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.